fighting vessel, the Car Lu, has put in long and faithful service. However, the Firefighting Association is adamant that the old converted tug has virtually had its day. If there was to be a major maritime disaster, either at the mouth of the Port River or even worse, at sea, it's feared the Car Lu would not be capable of dealing with it effectively. The Car Lu was built way back in the 1940s and converted into a firefighting boat 20 years later. It's now equipped with new pumps capable of putting water at the seat of any given blaze in great volumes. But the question of getting the vessel to the scene in rapid time remains out of the question. If it was downriver near outer harbour, uh, it would take us a considerable period of time to uh, respond with the current fire boat that we have. It would be a problem if uh, a ship went down or was uh, badly uh, damaged in one of our uh, shipping channels. Uh, certainly it would be a, a huge problem. The association would like to see a new boat stationed further downstream towards outer harbour. Ideally, a vessel similar to existing marine and harbours fire tugs. These are currently on standby. In fact, the association says a completely new fire station incorporating a marine facility should be built midway down the Lefevre Peninsula. The reallocation of facilities at Port Adelaide uh, will inevitably require some form of disaster uh, to ensure that an adequate uh, facility is established there. The Port Fire question has been on the boil for more than 14 months. Three state government ministers have passed through the ranks examining the situation, but still nothing concrete has been done. The association just hopes that recent meetings with Don Hopgood will produce results. Results before the maritime disaster potential turns into reality. Mike Smithson, Eyewitness News.